Good Friday morning. When the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost, there were four very distinct signs. First, the rushing wind that filled the whole house. The work of the Holy Spirit is like wind. It can be a violent wind or it can be a light breeze. We know when the Spirit is blowing. We may not know where it came from or where it's going, but we know when the wind has come. The analogy? We can feel the work of the Holy Spirit. And like the wind, the moving of the Holy Spirit, it can be unpredictable. The Holy Spirit has absolute discretion to blow wherever He wishes and however He desires. The Holy Spirit is omnipotent God. So don't try to put God in a box. Another thing about wind is it leaves evidence behind when it is blown. When the wind passes by, things will be shifted. In the same way, the work of the Holy Spirit brings about change. Perhaps you may think that things are more chaotic when the Spirit moves. But sometimes, the Holy Spirit needs to tear some things down before He can rebuild. So the process of the moving of the Holy Spirit sometimes does seem chaotic. The second thing that the Holy Spirit is compared to is fire. Fire is never hidden. People of Jerusalem were shocked to see what seemed to be tongues of fire that came to rest on each of the believers. Although they could not understand or accept what was going on, it shows that fire is never hidden. In addition, fire can spread. The fire of Pentecost did not stop at Jerusalem. It spread through Judea and to the Gentiles. Although the religious elite kept trying to extinguish the fire, God's fire kept spreading to Europe, Asia, and America. It burned from the Pentecostal church to the traditional churches and even to Catholic and Anglican churches. Third, fire brings power. Just like fire brings light and heat, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit brings Im immense power. The early church used the fire of the Holy Spirit to declare truth with the evidence of God's miraculous power. And finally, there's the speaking in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14.4 says, The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself. This is one of the greatest reasons for speaking in tongues. The person that speaks in tongues builds themselves up. The person that speaks in an unknown tongue helps themselves, edifies themselves. We must readily agree that we all are in need of anything that will build us up because we need to be made stronger and edified in the Lord. And this is what the ministry of speaking in tongues does in the life of the Spirit-filled believer. The Christian who has learned to yield his spirit to the guidance and direction of the Holy Spirit has found a sure way to edify himself. Today, there are so many pressures that are affecting the spirits of God's people. Sin abounds on every side, and there's so much that depresses and discourages us in our walk of faith. But God's word assures us, the one who speaks in a tongue builds himself up. I, and millions like me, have known the joy of building ourselves up in the Holy Ghost. Jude 20 exhorts us, But you, beloved, build yourselves up in the most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. There is no experience any sweeter. There is nothing in our worship and praise that's more wonderful. There is nothing that satisfies any more completely than the privilege of building ourselves up with praying in the Holy Spirit. Don't miss out on this wonderful means of self-edification. Ask Jesus to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and power. Dear Lord, we thank you for Pentecost because the Holy Spirit came among us and the fire of the Spirit is still burning today. By faith, we receive the work of the Holy Spirit inside us and through us and we pray that we may be your vessels in the expansion of your kingdom. We thank you. We pray in the victorious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.